welcome back. For the first time since taking his seat in the U.S. House of Representatives, Louisiana Congressman Joseph Gao is on our hot seat. He went one-on-one -on -one with WDSU News Channel 6 anchor Norman Robinson. Good evening, I'm Norman Robinson, and welcome to the Six on Your Side Hot Seat. Joining us tonight, for the first time since taking office in the U.S. House of Representatives, is Louisiana Congressman Joseph Gao. Congressman Gao, thanks for being here. Thank you for inviting me here. Nice to see you. Well, thank you. All right, let's get right to it. What's the most significant issue for the people in the 2nd Congressional District, and what are you doing to address it? I believe that the most significant issue is, will always be recovery. And we are uh, addressing the recovery issues at many levels, beginning with FEMA, which we were the force behind the restructuring of the local TRO office. Uh, and secondly, uh, with respect to uh, all the other issues that we have to address in recovery with health care, with education, with crime, uh, in dealing with those issues, we are holding roundtable sessions with different groups, with, with leaders, with community leaders to see what we can do in order to help facilitate at the federal level uh, addressing the issues of recovery such as crime, education. Right, and let's talk about health care first. Sure. The LSU v, uh, VA hospital merger. What's your position on that? I support the uh, LSU, the new LSU VA hospital because I believe that the new LSU VA system will serve as a centerpiece for our new and diversified uh, economic engine. And I and I hope that within five or ten years, we will have a biomedical corridor with the LSUVA hospital as a centerpiece to help us move forward uh, in this diversification. What's your position then on those who uh, want to keep the old charity hospital because they say it would be a cheaper way to go and also a faster way to get health care back um, um, up to its pre-Katrina? Uh, stages. Well, I, I respect uh, people of different opinions, uh, but I believe that our, we, we have to look to the future, and the future lies in a state of a state of the art hospital that will attract uh, young professionals and that will able to keep young pro professionals here in the city, and I believe that the new LSUVA system will, will, will be able to do that. Well, let's move on to the, uh, the um, uh, FEMA office here. You were instrumental in launching the investigation into uh, allegations concerning uh, discrimination and other improprieties uh, in the local FEMA, FEMA office. Why did you take that step, and what's the status of the investigation? Well, we found that some of the problems uh, that delayed the, uh, the adjudication of the uh, public assistance program was some of the problems at the senior staff level uh, in the local TRO office. Uh, and it deals, uh, as, you, as, as you stated, with cronyism, with, uh, with a, a, a bad working environment that did not enable the workers to, to basically work to their full potential. Uh, and to do that, we have to go in there, make some changes at the senior staff level, uh, and basically the secretary, uh, Napolitano, supported us uh, in the push, and she was so able to do that. So, what's the status of the investigation? Uh, at this point, uh, FEMA has not issued to us uh, a report of the study. Uh, we have requested it, uh, but they will be uh, sending us a report. Uh, I hope in the near future. Uh, what is your relationship with the Obama administration? Uh, I believe that I have a very good relationship with with the president. Uh, we, I went to the White House for a reception on Thursday. And the first thing that the president asked me when he saw me was, well, Congressman, how, how are things in New Orleans? Uh, and, and as you know, that, that is something rare for a president to specifically understand and, and, spe and specifically ask the congressman for his particular district because, as you know, there are 435 congressmen in the, in the United States. And there's no way that he, can under that he can remember who represents where unless he's paying attention to that particular person. You, and I believe that we, he and I, we have a very good working relationship. You were the only member of the Louisiana delegation that gave him high marks on yes. his first 100 days. Do you think that has anything to do with his singling you out specifically? No, uh, I believe that uh, I gave him high marks because of his and, and the quality of his work in, in, in assisting us with, with our issues of recovery. Um, since his since his, his administration has been uh, installed, uh, we were able to push uh, FEMA projects faster than we have done years before. Uh, I spoke with the uh, recovery school districts, and they informed me that FEMA pushed out $60 million in public work projects in the last six weeks alone, and that is 
uh, millions more than what they did in, in the previous two years. So uh, just knowing those facts um, is very encouraging to me because I know that the president is supporting the recovery issues down here. The president is getting some pushback on his selection for the person to head FEMA. Um, do you think that might interfere in the, the kind of projects that you're trying to push forward with the president looking at that as a, as a conflict and then deciding, well, maybe he wants to take a different approach in his dealings with people from Louisiana? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I believe that the president is, is, is above uh, this party politics. And uh, some of the whole up, obviously, is in the uh, Republican lines, uh, the Republican senators. Uh, but I believe that at the end of the day, Mr. Few Gates will be uh, approved by the Senate, and he will become the new, the new administrator of FEMA. And we hope to work in close relationship with him in order to push forward the recovery of the district. All right, we'll pause now for a short break. But when we come back, why did Congressman Gao attempt to join the Congressional Black Caucus? Don't go far. Back in a moment.